emotional wellness is closely related to your mental health. Mental health refers to how your heart and mind influence the way you think, feel and act. Poor mental health results in losing the ability to control emotions and behaviours and to manage day-to-day -day activities. So how can this affect you as a seafarer? Mental health is about how you handle stress, make decisions and relate to those around you. Seafaring is set in a particularly stressful work environment where you are under constant pressure to make decisions. Within the confined space of life on board your vessel, you need to be able to relate to those around you in a positive and constructive way. Your ability to do this and how well you perform your day-to-day -day work tasks is largely down to the state of your mental health. Labour intensification, manning levels, monotony, fatigue, social isolation and most of all being away from your family makes you vulnerable to poor mental health. Poor mental health has been a major contributing factor in suicide rates among seafarers, more than tripling since 2014, rising from 4.4% to just over 15%. In 2017, as a result of mental health issues increasing among seafarers, suicide has become the number one cause of fatalities at sea. Poor mental health can reveal itself in many forms, including anxiety, in which you experience an exaggerated and prolonged threat or danger causing undue worry, agitation, a faster heartbeat, hot or cold sweats and an increase in breathing. Depression, where constant feelings of hopelessness may lead to low mood, a lack of energy and a loss of interest in enjoying life. And stress, a state of mental or emotional strain or tension resulting from adverse or demanding circumstances. Signs and symptoms of poor mental health can be divided into four categories. Behaviours, such as not completing everyday work tasks, withdrawing from close friends, family and crewmates, and relying on alcohol or sedatives, having thoughts of failure, worthlessness, and questioning the will to live, feelings of sadness, guilt and indecision, and experiencing physical signs and symptoms such as being constantly tired, having too much or too little sleep, or significant weight loss or gain. If you are showing signs and symptoms of poor mental health, it is important to reach out and talk to someone, maybe a fellow crew member, a trusted friend, or a member of your family. Remember, people do recover from mental health issues. Having a mental health issue does not mean that you are abnormal or a bad person. One in four people will at some time during their lives experience a severe mental health issue. It can happen to anyone. You may also consider visiting a doctor for an initial assessment, or a psychologist, chaplain or social worker who can assist through using talking therapies, or a psychiatrist who can help when medical treatment is needed. If you believe a crewmate is showing signs of poor mental health, discuss it with them. It may, at first, be awkward, but by staying calm, being genuine, indicating that you have noticed a change in their behaviour, and listening without being judgmental, you will be able to have a more relaxed and meaningful conversation with them. Always remember, you are not qualified to diagnose these symptoms yourself. All you can do is care. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and reach out if you feel you have a mental health issue. Remember, prevention is better than cure.